Is another bailout on the way? The White House set to boost insurance companies that stand to lose big bucks due to the low Obamacare enrollment numbers. How would this work and what would it mean for all of us? Stuart Varney is here to break it down. Good morning to you. Answer to your first question is yes. A Another bailout. bailout. A bailout is going. Now, they're not going to call it a bailout. They're going to say they're topping up insurance company funds. But it is a bailout. Under Section 1342 of the Obamacare Act, insurance companies, if they fall short of money, mm -hmm. money flowing into them, if right. they fall short, the taxpayer tops them up with additional subsidies. Remember, please, Steve, that the insurance companies are already getting $1 trillion and $75 billion right. from the taxpayer in the form of subsidies. If they don't bring in enough money from this failing website, and they're not going to bring in enough money, right. we give them some more. That sure. is a bailout. It absolutely is, uh, but this is no surprise because to get the insurance companies to agree to be part of the exchanges, they had to say, you know, not in public view, look, right. Right. If, if this thing tanks and it costs you a lot more, we'll make it up. That's right. The insurance companies were in favor of this act sure. because they thought they were going to pull in a whole bunch of new customers, and if they didn't bring in those customers, well, the taxpayer would make up the difference. That's where we stand. Yeah. Now, the back office system to pay out those subsidies, that's not been built. So the insurance companies right now are being squeezed right. seriously and it hits the fan next year because they just run out of money. Uh, plus the people who, you know, uh, we were talking a little while ago about how Kathleen Sebelius went out yesterday. She said 365,000 people so far have uh, signed up for, they have selected a plan. That's the that's way That's right. They've not it. signed up. They've selected a plan. Well, sh so they selected it. But according to some news reports out there, only 5%. Of those, maybe 10, maybe 15 percent have paid. And so the way, and she made it very, she was emphatic yesterday. Uh, everywhere on the website, it says you have to pay to be covered. So if only 5 percent, 10 percent have actually paid, that's bad for everybody. And by the way, if you don't pay, and I mean pay, by December 23rd, you are not covered as of January the 1st. So you've got to pay up that money very, very quickly. I don't think people are going to do it, quite frankly. But what about, but what about uh, if it was a mistake on the Obamacare website? Who's liable? Who's liable? Come January the 1st, you think you've signed up. You've not actually signed up. Well, of course, the up. government would be, but we're talking about people's health. Yes, I mean, they've got to go to the doctor. Yes. Can you imagine, come January the 1st, January the 2nd, some poor unfortunate gets into a car accident, for example. Big medical bill. It's okay. I am covered. No, you are not covered. You think you are. You think you enrolled. You think you signed up, but actually, you didn't. You're out in the cold. I think this is going to happen. Between that and the news of the bailout, but don't call it a bailout. Don't call it a bailout. Oh, you're, but it you're, is. You're just full of good news today. I have a nice day. All right. <laughs> uh, by the way, watch uh, Stuart. He's going to be working over at Fox Business three hours and uh, two minutes from right now. Yes. 920. Thank you. 920. Thanks, Thank Steve. you, sir.